Hi and welcome to Matt's Car Review. Um, today we're going to be doing a driving review on the Vauxhall Insignia uh, 2 litre SRI diesel. Um, there's a couple of features on here that I think are really good. Um, for instance, it's, it's pretty cold outside, I'll just get it started there so we'll get it warmed up. Um, and on the blowers, usually on cars um, you get one option maybe you can get it on two at the same time uh, on the Vauxhall Insignia you can get it on all three um, so you can keep your feet warm keep yourself warm and also demist the windscreen uh, which I think is a really good design on that side of it uh, we're just going to take it out for a bit of a drive um, see what we think see uh, see how it goes and um, yeah so I hope you enjoy this review and this drive and uh, I'll speak to you while I'm doing it. Here we go, so we're pulling off now. Uh, another good good um, thing on this car is the fact that it tells you whether your water, your washer fluid's low uh, as well. It comes up on the screen on the computer on the dash. Um, at the moment, I've got the dash on the digital display. Uh, which is great, but if I go through the computer, I can have a look at my uh, miles per gallon that I'm getting. Um, I can also, uh, let's have a look, so I can go through the miles per gallon, I've got the trips on it of course. It tells me how much fuel's in the car. Um, also, it says uh, how much oil's in the engine, uh, which is pretty good really. I mean, always tend to use your dipstick really. Um, but it's just nice just to have that there really, just for a quick check. Um, this Vauxhall Insignia 2 litre, uh, uh, sorry, diesel, is 130 brake horsepower. Um, it's not a lot. There's other ones out there that one of them goes up to 168 brake horsepower. Um, would be nice to have, have a little bit more on it. Uh, it picks up nice enough, it's, it's adequate, um, you know, it, you can overtake in it quite happily, um, I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute, um, the, the speed it can do, it's the acceleration, the, it's 0 to 60 in about 11 seconds, which isn't quick, but it's not designed to be quick, it's not a sports car. It's, it's a family car, it's, it's a reps car. You know, it's not meant to be anything amazing as such. Um, but it's comfortable, it's got the sports seats in it, being the SRA. It's also, because it's the SRA, it's also got lowered suspension, um, which means you get better handling, and it's also stiffer as well, um, which helps. So you don't get too much roll with it. Um, the sports seats that come with it, uh, they, they hug you nicely, they keep, keep you in the seat, you don't feel like you're going to fall out at all when you're going around corners. Um, there's plenty of space in there, it's, it's amazing how much space is in there, it's really nice. Um, you feel quite, you can move around a bit. Right, so we'll be coming up to a 50 mile speed limit in a minute, so what I'll do is I will just slow it down and I'll show you the acceleration soon up to 50 um, from about 30-ish so yeah it's, it's, it's a great car to be fair um, one thing that I always ask myself when I'm reviewing a car or whether I'm buying a car is it practical for what it's designed for will it do what it's designed for well, I think this car will. Um, here we go, we're up to the 50 mile speed now, so here we go. You get, you get a bit of a bit of a push, no, nothing amazing, it's nothing nothing wow about it. But there's not there's nothing wow about this car really to be fair. It's just a family car. But it handles well. And it, it's great great on fuel, it's you're getting about late 50s early 60 mile per gallon you're getting roughly about that on long runs uh, around town you're probably looking at late 30s um, to be fair 
uh, which is still pretty good. Um, so it's got the fuel economy there, but it's the diesels, you know, you, you get that with it. Um, also is only 130 brake horsepower, so you're not, you know, the, the more power you get, you've got to compensate somewhere. And usually when you compensate, it usually becomes the miles per gallon. Um, so is this car, does it do what it's designed to do? Well. Yeah, it does. It does do what it's designed to do. It's spacious, um, it handles well, uh, being front-wheel drive as well. Um, there's plenty of room in the back for, comfortably, for two adults and, say, three kids. Um, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily want to do a massive long trip in the back. Uh, but you could sit there quite happily for, for a while, you know. Uh, quite comfortable, the seats are alright. Uh, they sort of, they tend to hug you a little bit around one side, you know, it's got quite a bit of lumbar support there. Uh, the boot, the boot is, wow, the boot's massive. It's actually quite deceiving, to be fair, when you, uh, when you look at the car from the outside. The boot doesn't look that big, but when you open it, it's like a TARDIS. You, you can easily fit a few suitcases in there, you know, well, two, two, you can definitely fit two in there. So if you're a family, you go on holiday, it's great for that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, what else can I say about it? It's, it's a Vauxhall Insignia, it's diesel, it's a two litre, um, it's an SRI. Uh, would I buy another one again if I had the op op option? Um, that's a tough one really I, don't get me wrong I like it I like this car yeah, it does me um, I think a little bit more power would be nice yeah um, I, don't, I don't think I would buy one to be fair I think if I was gonna go for one I'd probably be looking at maybe the Elite because um, the Elite's got all the creature creature comforts on it it's got the leather seats the heated seats it's got the sat nav you can get the sat nav in some of these um, this one just doesn't doesn't have it in it it's not that sort of spec on this one um, but saying that I, I like the idea of the VXR as well um, now that that is a nice Vauxhall insignia it's quick it handles well it's got a beautiful sound to it as well that comes out of the twin exhaust um, so yeah I don't think I would buy the diesel 2 litre SRI I mean anything under a 2 litre I wouldn't even entertain to be fair on these sort of cars um, so so yeah I don't, I don't think I really would um, but I mean don't get me wrong it's a nice car and if you're looking for a family car that's good on fuel that you can overtake if you need to I mean you, it goes up to 70 nice enough uh, going down the slip rows onto the motorway gets you nice enough up to there um, and it cruises cruises at 17 sixth gear like like mad it's great for that it really is um, so I think when it's when it's in sorry about that, a few bumps there. When it's in sixth gear and you're cruising down the motorway, you're looking at about probably about 2,000 revs. So it's not it's not screaming at all. And this car doesn't. You can you don't even have to open her up. She just she just cruises. That's what it is. Um, and like I said, it is comfortable. I've done 250 miles uh, in this in one hit. And yeah, I've, I felt fine after, to be fair. I mean, I've been in other cars and I've done that sort of trip and I've ached and uh, my legs hurt and all that. But like I said before, and, and in the other review of the walk around, you get plenty of space in the front. You know, there's a lot of space in the front, in fact. Um, so it is good for that, and it's good for the for the uh, taller drivers as well. I'll just get it turned down here quickly. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
would I recommend this car to people? Yeah, I would, I would recommend it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's definitely a car to look into. Have, have it on your list. Um, I just, for me personally, I think, I think I'd go for something maybe a bit more either comfortable or maybe just a bit more, um, maybe just a bit more sort of fun, if you get what I mean. A bit more acceleration, um, but don't get me wrong, it is a nice car and it, it does exactly what it says it does. Uh, it does exactly what it's designed for. There is still that problem with the mirrors. Oh, I won't lie to you. They're tiny and they're rubbish to be fair. They really are. Um, yeah, it's right when you're driving along like this. Uh, you just want to have a quick look, see what's behind you. It's fine for that. You can see, you can see behind you perfectly fine. But when you're reversing at any point or you're trying to park up it's, it's just absolutely rubbish you, you can't see the curb um, so you have to keep adjusting it the whole time and you can't even see anywhere near the rear wheels to be fair um, so so you don't catch your alloys you're constantly adjusting it um, and also there's that thing that I've said in the walk around review about the boot uh, when it's been raining or if you've used your rear window washers um, it just it, when you open up the boot it just leaks water in there I don't know where it gets in but it just it's the design of the boot and it just sort of drips in it's not it's not a major problem it's really not but it's, it is a little bit annoying to be fair all right I'm just gonna put over so so yeah it's a great car it really is there's a few problems with it uh, one of them being also the um, electronic parking brake with the heel assist the heel assist isn't brilliant at all um, you, that is there, you do feel it is there, but it doesn't give you long at all to react. So you do tend to roll back a little bit. Now, with the parking brake, because uh, it's electronic, um, you push it up for just a stop, of course, and then if you're on a slope or anything like that, you can push it up a second time, you can hear it, and it will hold you that little bit extra which is great to be fair. Um, the only thing I will say about it is when your parking brakes on and you need to pull away and you're on a slope or a hill, um, you have to have your foot on the clutch of course because you've got it in gear. You've got to have your other foot on the brake to then release the parking brake and then you've got to get from the brake to the accelerator. Now that doesn't give you any time really so you do tend to roll back at that point uh, whereas when you look at like the Peugeot I think it's the 5008 uh, I borrowed one of them once and um, that's got the electric uh, parking brake on it uh, the difference with that one is when you put your foot on the accelerator it releases it straight away so that's great you don't you don't get the rollback as such uh, it takes a little while to get used to that, I will admit. But you don't get that, whereas this one tends to roll back a little bit. I don't know what they've done with the design. Uh, I don't know if it's fault with maybe just this one. But it, it's just not brilliant at all, really. Um, so, yeah, yeah. apart from that, it's a, it's a great car. It looks nice as well. It looks smart on the inside. You've got your multi-multi... Um, multi, functional steering wheel so I forgot my words then you know where you can control the CD player or your phone through it so you can ring people you can change the songs on it you got your volumes on it so technically you don't even need to really take your hand off the steering wheel either um, you've also got your cruise control on this side um, so you can set it 
or you can you can also increase and decrease your speed using the steering wheel uh, that's pretty good to be fair i've used that a couple of times uh, you can answer your phone you can cancel your calls really this car apart from changing gear this car is designed for you to have your hands on the steering wheel at all times um, which is good it makes makes you safe um, but yeah no it's, it's an all right car yeah it's good anyway thanks for watching the review i hope you enjoyed it sorry about the shaky camera at times we hit a few bumps um that's expected um yeah please please comment um if you'd like me to come and review your car i'm more than welcome to more than happy to sorry i'd love to come and review your car um you can email me or leave a comment. Uh, we are on Facebook now, so please look for us on Facebook. And uh, like our page, please share it as well. Um, there will be more videos to come. Next week I've got a Kia Sportage uh, 18 plate lined up to review. Um, so please come back and check that one. Um, thank you. Have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend and I will speak to you soon. Bye.